From Boston, I'm joined by author and political scientist Carl Afrosiabi. Welcome to the program. So, Mr. Afrosiabi, the insurers are saying Iran won't get the sanctions relief on all insurance anytime soon. What does that tell you, and why do you think that is? Well, I think the statement that they made with respect to the need for clear policy announcements by the European Union is highly relevant to your question because, short of such uh, policy announcement, these companies and other companies potentially interested in doing trade with Iran uh, will be in a legal limbo. So there is a need for follow-up action on the part of the European Union to uh, spell out clear guidelines with respect to the easing of sanctions specified in the Geneva Accord, whereby uh, the insurance companies and other European companies can go forward with uh, doing business with Iran. But I mean, are these steps reciprocal? Will the West treat Iran on equal footing? Well, uh, certainly Tehran hopes so. And, you know, this is a multilateral agreement whereby all the other parties have uh, put their credibility and prestige online if they don't abide by the terms of this, this agreement. And it's very important to also note that no single party can unilaterally uh, oppose or abrogate it or claim non-compliance by, by Iran. This has to be a multilateral collective decision. And this goes to the heart of some of the opposition we have heard from the hawkish members of U.S. Congress who are urging no sanctions against Iran because they overlook the simple fact that as a result of the Geneva Accord, no unilateral U.S. action is uh, no longer possible short of uh, reneging on the deal and putting U.S.'s prestige and the international community in jeopardy. Because, I mean, uh, by the time these sanctions uh, are removed, uh, 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 the six-month temporary deal that Iran had with the P5 plus one will have ended by that time. So what will Iran get from this deal? Well, you see, this has been an early warning by the insurance companies in Europe, and this deal won't go into effect until the end of December, per the recent announcement by the Iranian officials. So there's uh, roughly, you know, uh, a month to get to these uh, legalities and streamline the process, whereby the possibilities for the insurance companies to, uh, you know, bypass the previous uh, existing restrictions uh, will materialize. Uh, unfortunately, in addition to that, we've also heard news about uh, the EU reimposing sanctions on some, some 17 shipping companies from Iran. And, you know, that does not send a good signal from them. We need the opposite signals that would show that the EU is acting in good faith, easing sanctions, and uh, is uh, smoothing the process for the implementation of the Geneva Accord, uh, not the exact opposite, which we have seen, unfortunately, with these two uh, items of news from Europe. All right. Conrad Afrosiabi, author and political scientist from Boston. Thanks for your thoughts, sir.